Welcome back to Royal Wood Flooring, where we have just uh, finished up another project in beautiful central Phoenix. And let's go ahead and inside and take a look. Today is Thursday, August 13th, 2020. And this right here says, Bienvenidos, mi casa es tu casa. All right, that's great. Go inside and make ourselves at home. No, I'm just kidding. We're just refinishing the floors inside there. And I really admire this backyard. That That is a jacuzzi. What I really like most is these bamboo sticks. Amazing that they could grow here in Arizona. Oh, look at the little baby shoots just sprouting up. Oh, they're pretty. Ow! Oh, they're pretty sharp. Yeah, those are not real. But the bamboo? Wow. Amazing that they grow in 110 degree weather. Palm trees. Now let's go inside before our battery uh, runs out. I do have to purchase a new phone. Probably uh, thinking maybe an Apple 10, 11. So if you look at our previous video, it is uh, just the original wood floor, probably 1920s, 1930s. And we did sand and refinish it. You can see there's a white oak, two and a quarter by three quarter. And it does have the arch doorway, typical for the time era. And let's see what else is beautiful about this home is that. Now look, to have this in a house, it's almost like a church or a cathedral. And then you do have one, two, three, four, five windows for natural light. I mean, wonderful, wonderful uh, homes here in downtown Phoenix. They're all unique, just like you and I. We're not all the same, like cookie cutter homes. And if you look in our previous video, this right here was all tile. So we removed the tile. Luckily for us, here at Royal Wood Flooring, we were very careful not to damage the beautiful tile floor underneath. Seems like somebody did fill this in over time, which is fine because since this is white oak, and that's red oak, and that's pine, that's okay. That's what makes this home historical and unique. It has character. It has character. And that's why people love Central Phoenix. And these, they purchase these old homes for the character it has. No, not for having all the same floor, carpet, or tile. No. That's not original to the house. This is. This is what the house was built on. On this pine floor, on that oak, probably the kitchen was remodeled. That's my uh, thought. And this right here might have been a porch at one time. Since there was no wood under there, it's concrete. We will have to put a reducer there, which is fine. We'll go ahead and do that. And that's why we're suggesting that was a porch, since it's concrete. And then they opened it up and closed it up and made another room. That's not a cross. No, it's just something to hold them up. And there it is. All right, let's go back and look at our beautiful floors. All right, nice. I like that yellow paint. Bring some life to the kitchen. As you see, the floors did have 110,000 nails. No, not that much, but we did fill them in. Those were there. We did not screw those in. As you see, they're all filled in. I'm guessing they probably did that uh, on the joist, since all of these old historical homes have joists underneath. They're not uh, built on concrete, so yeah, they're all joist. It's mostly the newer homes that they started building on concrete foundation. You can tell you're in uh, Phoenix, right? You can tell, right? Look at that. Night, day. Cactus is all. Go ahead and do a walkthrough, see how everything turned out. There was some cat stains here. Or, yeah, probably cat stains. They don't come out typically, uh, things like that. They're there permanently because uh, cat urine is so acidity that uh, really it's not gonna, it goes all the way through, it dry rots the wood from top to bottom, turns black. So, the only way to fix that is to pull it out and replace it. And the homeowner did not want to do that. Now, look at this. I, I'm guessing this is a honeycomb fireplace. Yeah, honeycomb fireplace. Go ahead and shut these down a little bit so we can get a better view of this honeycomb fireplace. That's beautiful. 
So think about it, back in 1920s, 30s, they did not have gas heat. They did not have AC. So this is how they heated up their houses with these little fireplaces in the wintertime. And in the summertime, from uh, what I gathered from the older people here in Arizona is that they, they wetted bed sheets and hang them up by the window and left the windows open. So that's how they cooled their houses back in uh, 1920s and 30s, if you're interested in that. And then right here, let's see. All right, right here, we did build this uh, little door for access underneath the house. And then there it is, beautiful white oak wood flooring. And I'm just amazed by these arches. They're so unique, just like you and I. We're all unique in this world, and that's how our homes should be, unique. Not the same, cookie cutter homes. All the homes are the same like our neighbors, no. All the homes should be different, should have style, should have character. Oh, wait, let's focus on the wood floors. That's where we are here in Phoenix. We're a wood floor professional restoration company. Give us a call today at 602-446-2613. That's 602-446-2613. Or you can find us online at www.royalwoodflooring.com. Once again, we are happy to show you our beautiful work we do here in the valley. Thank you for watching our videos. Till next one.